Hey everyone, Lightroom just had an update in April of 2018, earlier on this month, and it was all to do with profiles. Profiles are amazing tools inside of Lightroom. If you go into Lightroom, you'll see that now your profile is up at the very top, and instead of just looking at them in a drop-down list, you can also look at them in the profile browser. So you've got all of these great new tools here to change the way your images look. And they're not just a preset, they're actually a profile which is underlying the original image. So if I click on this really cool warm profile that I have, uh, it's called Warm One, I click on it, and now when I close the browser, you'll notice that all of the exposure, highlight, contrast, none of the knobs have changed. If you go to the tone curve, which most of this stuff would have been done in it, there's no change in the tone curve. Everything is as it originally was, and yet the image looks so much different. That's because in a profile, we're actually using color lookup tables, and we're doing all sorts of stuff underlying the image. That's the power of profiles. However, with the update of profiles came a couple little changes that you need to be aware of. Number one, profiles are not presets. Presets can control profiles. You can choose a profile from a preset. That's great. But your presets can actually go over the top of a profile. So now you can not only adjust your image, you can also choose a profile that goes underneath all of those adjustments, and you can choose presets that will control the sliders on top of your profile as well as choosing the profile itself. So there's a lot of different layers of what you can do now because you have profiles and presets and they're very, very powerful. But the location for all of these things has changed, which means that if you have noticed since the beginning of April 2018 when you updated Lightroom, suddenly your presets went out of whack and the organization changed, that's because there was a slight glitch. Now, after April 24th, 2018, they've fixed that glitch, but the location for your presets is eternally changed. It's always gonna be different, and it's important that you recognize the difference. So before April of 2018, Presets were a .lr template. That was the name of the preset. And you can see those right here. Uh, I'm gonna show you a version of them. So this is what they used to look like. It's lr preset. So you can see it's .lr template and the little logo looked like this. Now they are actually an XMP file. If you had presets installed already when you updated to Lightroom 2018 in April, it converted all those into XMPs for you. If you're trying to install presets now, say you purchased some presets online or you made some presets previously and you're trying to put them in Lightroom, the old way of installing those presets has completely changed. Because the old LR template presets, the old style of presets, don't install the same way anymore. They don't work. You can't just put them in. You can't just drag a folder in. So let me show you how and where to install those before you go crazy trying to figure out what happened to all your presets. If you go into Lightroom, go to the Lightroom Preferences dialog box in the preset panel, you will find a show Lightroom preset folder. When you click on that, it will show you where all of the Lightroom settings happen to be. That's the old location for your presets. They are no longer in that location. They are now in the camera raw folder, which is above the Lightroom folder. So if it shows you the Lightroom folder, just start looking up and you will see camera raw. So in the camera raw folder, you will find a settings folder. And in that settings folder, you will find a very long list of a bunch of presets and profiles. And all of them are .xmp. That's the, the file type. The reason they made this change is so that Lightroom and camera raw can see the same presets and profiles. 
And so anything that you make in Lightroom or anything you make in Camera Raw is going to be available to the other application instantaneously. So that's really important. Just make sure that you shut down the program and restart in order for it to see those. Now let me show you what happens if you take an old version of Lightroom presets and just simply drag them into this location, which is the way we used to do it and it was a very easy way to install a bunch of presets. But if I grab the grain, the, I have two grain collection templates. If I grab those and I put those presets into the settings area, I should be able to quit Lightroom and then restart Lightroom. And when I restart it, I should be able to see those presets inside of my preset area inside of Lightroom on the left hand side, but they're not there. You can see that they would be in the user preset. They're not there. They just don't exist. That's because they were the old style of presets that were made prior to 2018 April. So what you need to do is you need to have them converted and the best way to have them converted is to have Lightroom do it for you. Now we're going to take that same collection, the grain collection, and I'm going to go to the develop module to the preset panel and click on the little plus button and tell it to import those same presets. So I'm going to click on import presets, go to the same folder, grab the same two that didn't work by putting them into that folder and I'm going to hit import. By importing them, it's actually converting them to XMP files and it's putting them into the correct location. So now you can see right here at the bottom of my preset area, there are two presets. They are the right names. They will work. That's it. That's how you install old style presets into Lightroom. However, if you have new style presets, you can do both ways. You can take a new style preset like this XMP file and you can either go into Lightroom and click the plus button and hit import presets and then go find that specific preset on your desktop, click on that XMP file and hit import and it will import it correctly and into the correct place. The other thing that you can do is you can take that specific preset and you can drag it into that camera raw settings folder and let go. Then if you go to Lightroom and quit and restart, you will find that preset right down there in the user preset folder exactly as it should be. So basic lesson, Lightroom presets have been moved as a result of the profile change in April 2018. If you're in a position where you updated and then all your presets went crazy, that's because of a glitch. That glitch is fixed as of the 24th of April, 2018. If you're using presets that were before April, 2018, you need to use the import button on Lightroom in order to import your old presets. If you have new presets that are an XMP style, then you can bring them in either through the import dialog box or you can simply drag those new style presets, the XMP style presets into the settings folder in the camera raw folder and they will magically appear when you restart Lightroom. So those are the two ways to import. You have two different styles, the old style of presets, the new style of presets. Make sure you know the difference before you start wigging out. There's a lot of cool things about the profiles, but the preset thing will confuse you. So if this has confused you because there's too much information, go ahead and rewind and watch it again because all the information you need is in this video.